Hey guys, and welcome back to Raise Hell. When we last left off, we finally got to the suburbs, so let's continue. The best culet is a dead culet. Yep. Yep, I can agree with that. So, here we are. You are almost there. We will punish the princess for making war on our people. Aye, we certainly will. Now, let's go for a power-up. We can have a permanent ripper. We can have a spiker power-up or double melee. Uh, let's go for permanent ripper because permanent weapons are better than any limited one-time deal thing. Especially here. Like, having some ammo is actually useful. Now, one thing you'll notice here is there's literally, like, unlimited... <laughs> he just got run over. There's unlimited amounts of culets here to slaughter. But, there's very little point in doing so, to be honest. Uh, you're better off leaving them alive, just in case you need to come back here, and you can use them as uh, food. But, there is a lot of them. Ah, hello. Looks like we've got a couple of gun turrets here. No, maybe not. Oh, look at them all. I mean, it is fun to just gun down loads of them. Oh, when this gun overheats, by the way, you can't actually inhale food and you can't change weapons. So, bear that in mind. I kind of thought that was a thing, but I had it confirmed for me when I was playing around with this off camera. Yep, it's 100% a thing. Okay. I think we're getting hit from behind. You're too cute to die. Bullshit. Who was shooting me from behind? You? I thought we killed you. Yeah, maybe we let him live. I don't know. Yeah, so we're going to keep all these culets behind us alive for a fuel. For a fuel? For a food source, just in case we need it. Because there's a lot of them here. This next. Well, this, this section coming up is incredibly difficult. And no, I don't mean this bit. Because unfortunately, if we kill enemies and turn them into bodies, like we've seen before, um, you know, they will just disappear. And that doesn't really help us. It does pay off to have a nice fresh supply. Right, anything in here? Yep. Nice bit of shotgun. Can never have too much shotgun, let me tell you. Oh, explosives. Absolutely. Let's take a trip in the town. Yep. Yeah. Let's go downtown. Ah, oh, oh, right. <coughs> this is where the game gets somewhat difficult. This took me about half an hour of trial and error to get through this level. Uh, that's multiple deaths, by the way. And man, I wish, I, like when I was playing this, there was some health behind me that I could have gone back and grabbed. That's why we're keeping all those guys alive. Now, there are these gun turrets. They're everywhere. And when I say they're everywhere, I mean they're everywhere. They've been really quite naughty with their gun turret placement, which we will see. Right, let's get rid of these guys. Nice. There's also a freaking tank waiting for us. And yes, even a helicopter, as we've just seen. Definitely need to get rid of that helicopter. That helicopter sucks. Donkey dick. And we've got another gun turret shooting at us. Apparently, another shock trooper. Okay. He's dead. And someone is splattering stuff all over our face. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, see that over there? Gun turret up on the building. Yeah, that will kill you in, like, literally seconds. These gun turrets seem to do a lot more damage than they used to. Not sure why. Probably because the game hates us. Come on. And you can see we can't quite hit it. There we go. Because again, dodgy uh, hit detection. 
Right, he's gone. How many more gun turrets can there be, I hear you ask? Uh, lots. Now, admittedly, this is like one of the only parts on this level where we have to fight. But, there is a lot of enemies here. We haven't got to half of it yet. Oh, great. No ammo. Come on. There we go. Lovely. Uh, we have a gun turret in that corner, which uh, if we advance on that, we're going to have a bad time. Yep. Another enemy spawn. Because why not, eh? Just what we want as we're advancing onwards. Dump a load of hard-ass enemies right behind us. But that's okay. We're kind of getting uh, wise to the game's bullshit at this point. Now you can see that tank there. Yeah, that tank will fuck us up really quickly. In fact, if that tank hits us, it's a one-hit kill. Because, you know, why not, I guess. Uh, the Ripper, funny enough... Ow! Ow! Forgot about you, didn't I? The Ripper, funny enough, works really well against it. For some reason. Not sure why. Come on. Come on. Let's get rid of this bloody gun turret. A little bit more. You can see the accuracy on this gun. Uh, it's actually deceptively good. You think this gun's really inaccurate. And it is, but it's definitely better than you would give it credit for. He's dead. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Yep. That tank is literally just going to chip away at us. But we're going to chip back, don't worry. Now, remember those nukes that we used to be able to get? Yeah, we can't get those anymore. Don't know why. But they appear to be uh, a non-thing. This late in the game for some reason. I don't know why. They were like a staple of the game and then the game seems to take them away. But that's the state of it. Kind of like with Halo 2. Or Halo, I should say. There we go. Those tanks really aren't as tough as the game uh, leads you to believe, are they? But yeah, with Halo 2, they uh, or Halo, I should say, they were giving us uh, dual wielding. Remember that? And then they took it away with Halo 4 for reasons, I guess? It was really strange. I guess we don't need to destroy this gun, really, but it's satisfying. Anyway, now, um, there is this, like, bonus area down here that we absolutely do not need to do anything with. But, you know, see all these helicopters trying to escape. Because this is like some kind of airbase. Which I thought was really cool. Oh, hey. Hi. Hello. Not sure where he's going. Just parking up. Those vehicles move around the map. I don't know why they don't really do anything ever. But it is what it is, I guess. Okay, so we've got a sniper. That apparently can't be shot. Yeah. Another thing to remember. The sniper rifle in this game. Um, it will say that you have a good hit. Uh, but that will be a lie. You'll fire a shot and nothing will happen. Happens a hell of a lot. But there's four helicopters here parked. So we may as well deprive the enemy of these valuable resources. <laughs> they make a big boom. Oh, they make a very, 
very satisfying explosion. Someone's shooting me. Oh, hey, friend. Have some gun. Have some more gun. Have so much gun you don't know what to do with. Okay. Now, I don't know if we get too close to these, if these will fly off or whatever, but we're not going to risk it. Wow, look at these paratrooper dudes literally coming out of the woodwork. Come on. Almost there. Ooh. Look at the explosion. They're huge. Like, it's giving bodies that are nowhere near it. Alright. Yeah, the only reason I think this is here is for, like, a bit of an ammo pickup. Hey, friend. See what I mean? See? He just literally walked through that wall there. Don't know why. Don't know if that's some kind of power of his or whether the game's just balked. I know what my money's on. Alright. Now, this isn't emulated either. This is running on actual hardware. So, ugh. no idea. Apparently, this does run on the 360. Which, uh, is cool, I guess. Would have been nice to play this with an actual Xbox 360 controller. But there we go. Right, let's see up some of these giblets. And I think we are just about done with this level. I think. Can't remember now. Yum. And then we've just got, like, the boss level. Yes, the boss level. It is a entire level. And in fact, defeating the boss herself is, well... Uh, eh, you'll see. It's not so much a boss fight as... A horde mode, to say the least. Right, the castle indeed is just ahead. Now, is it a separate... I can't remember how this goes down now. Oh, right, the this is the bit. Is just up ahead. Take my power once more. We'll have shield. Yeah, this bit, guys. This is hard. And when I say this bit is hard, I mean this is unreal. Like, they... You've got two areas to cover as you're advancing. And they throw so much at you, it's pretty fucking ridiculous. But, I mean, of course, right? It's the end of the game. But, seriously... When I was doing this off camera, I literally asked myself for a while. <laughs> I went and made myself a coffee and I, I was so annoyed. I'm like, is it is it worth it? Titan, it, is this game worth it to you? And of course, the only acceptable answer was yes. Yes, it is, I guess. But this is a tough battle to get through here. And you can already see what's going to happen. As we go forwards, they're going to constantly keep reinforcing enemies in front of us. And you get all the way to the end. Uh, and there's a gate right over there. And you just walk up there, fight all your way, your way through. And then the gate opens, right? <laughs> yeah, does it fuck? You fight yourself all the way up there. And then shit tons of enemies spawn right behind you in an area where you have no cover because, because fuck you, that's why. And the checkpoints are not good here. You are expected to do an awful lot. Let's just say that. Now we have a nice shield, but we can't use because we already have a power up. And it's one of those... Oh, no, 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 no. And it's one of those power-ups that you can't use any other power-ups with. Uh, who knew, right? And these gas... Oh, yeah, these cl uh, gas clouds as well. Sometimes they linger for a long time, and other times, eh, not so much. Now, the boss fight itself isn't actually that tricky. It took me a good while to work out what the hell I actually have to do. Um, but it's... Uh, it's not terrible. 
Right, checkpoint saved. Yeah, I, uh, from what I can remember, that's it. That's your checkpoint. Now we have to do all of this without a checkpoint. And we got a lot to get done. This bridge doesn't look too long, does it? Ah, helicopters, because of course, this helicopter will bomb you. And bomb you pretty thoroughly. Oh yeah, yeah, don't think it's just troops that spawn in. No, they spawn in helicopters behind you as well. Because, you know, why not, right? I would probably say this game here is one of the more savage difficulty spikes. However, I have done this now, so hopefully it would be a little bit better. And I need to sneeze. Oh, I apologize. If I remember, I will edit that out. Oh, God. Actually, I'll write that down. Oh, Jesus. 16 minutes in. Uh, 16. Yeah, that way I don't deafen you all. All right. I kind of don't want to use any decent ordnance on these guys. Now, you do have to keep thinning the herd on both sides. Now, this bridge here... We can actually only go halfway up. But they will spawn stuff all over this bridge. Because, fuck you, right? Ow. That hurt. We just rammed. Even though it was dead, ramming that gun turret actually counted as ramming an enemy target. So we got hurt. Because, fuck you, right? Enemies. Oh, hey. Hi. Hello there. Ooh. Is he dead? I don't know. Yep. We've got spawners coming in. And I need to sneeze again. This video is going to be full of me cutting bits and pieces out. I already know. Okay. Yep. Those armoured guys take two sniper rounds to kill which is if you ask me one sniper round too many all right we're halfway through the first part of this do we have we actually do okay yep we're going we're going Oh boy, this is going to get rough. I mean, okay, not bad, I guess. Oh, here they come, down the other side. Well, you didn't think we could use this side for cover, did you? Uh, that didn't actually count as a kill on the sniper for some reason. Okay, oh god, hi. We're almost dead. Okay, that's fine. Always use the shotgun to break up bodies at range. It's probably... Oh, God. It's probably one of the best things about it, to be honest. Alright, you need to die. You really need to die. You absolutely have to die. Oh god. Hey. Oh boy. Oh boy. Tactical retreat. Oh hey. Oh yeah, here we go. They've spawned more dudes in. They've spawned more dudes in. And we're dead. Can you guess where the checkpoint was? Can you guess that we have to do that entire slog again? Yep. So, I will spare you.
Right, okay, cool. Um, I think we're making progress. I think. Oh, good. Yes, this is where the Qlets spawn. Large quantities of Qlets spawn. Oh, good. Uh, and we can't see what we're doing. <sighs> Great. Love it when this happens. And as you can see, we just gotta keep ducking and weaving. Ducking and weaving. Hopefully, that's kind of gonna help us. If we can get into a bit of cover here. But I have a feeling we're gonna be dead. Now, if you think uh, when these doors open that we were just had our backs to and everything's going to be okay, you'd be wrong. Because they don't just open and allow you to wander in. No. They're full of enemies. Hey, but we got a checkpoint. So, that's the thing. Right. Okay. Nobody is playing a trick on you. But I am going to kill you. Oh, we've got more enemies spawning in. Let's get out of here. Are you seeing a theme here? Just unbelievable amounts of enemies after unbelievable amounts of enemies after unbelievable amounts of enemies. And... If you notice, we're being shot at in so many directions. And uh, taking cover is pretty hard because, I, well, I mean, there is nowhere to take cover because the enemies are everywhere. You see? You see? You see the kind of difficulty we're dealing with here? Right, let's get rid of him. And try and get rid of you. There we go. Okay. Oh, good. Smasher. Right, let's hoover up some food. Oh, good. Right. We're in. We're in. I have no idea how many of my kind you've killed. But... I've probably killed quite a few of yours at this point, just saying. Oh, there was a grenade at our feet, but because there were so many sound effects and voice clips going on, couldn't hear it. Okay. Can you see just like the savagery of it? The thing with this is, not only is it just straight up grueling, it isn't really a fair fight. It's just everything all over the place. Like, you literally don't know what way to spin. And for me personally, that is a really bad way to handle difficulty. I think he's dead. See, this thing, you can't really tell if he's dying or if he's dead or what because the game mechanics are just doing whatever the hell they want to. Hey, but we've got some sniper ammo at least. Ah, yes. Forgot about you, didn't I? My mistake. Come on, baby. Come on. Now, this is probably, this bit here, is probably harder than the final section of the game. This is just insanity. Look, they're just, again, just flooding with enemies. And the trouble with these enemies are, they're just bullet sponges. They're absolute bullet sponges. And the sniper rifle, she does nothing. 
literally. Uh, bloaters don't work against these guys. Hey, owed me money. Come on. A little bit more. See, you would have thought when the gate opened, you would have got a checkpoint. But no. Because fuck you, right? Now, I guess he's dead now. Definitely need to get rid of these grenadiers. All right. Okay. No ammo. Wonderful. Fucking wonderful. That's okay. At least we have one weapon with ammo. Can you imagine if you picked a power-up that didn't involve unlimited ammo? Look at that. Look at that. We're shooting here, but um, the hit detection is counting that we're shooting the car. Which is quite a frustrating turn of events. There we go. Almost there. I guess we can advance a little bit. There we go. We're getting a little bit too close now. Who's shooting me? You. Thought we killed you. I guess not. Right. Come on. Come on. A little bit more. Fight through it. Ah, <sighs> yes. Okay. Now we're in. Ah, now we're in, guys. Hello, Max. I saw you on television. You're doing a wonderful job. Uh -huh. hmm. It's not obvious. Houses, you say? Killing and slaughtering as they go. <laughs> and headed this way. Okay. Thanks for the heads up, Max. The Royal Packers. Oh, you're not going anywhere. So here we go. Technically, this is a different level. I'll go see what I can do to slow them down. You take care of the bitch. We're gonna try and take care of the bitch, but the bitch isn't exactly what I would say easy. She's not too bad. Let's have one run at it here. The princess will remain invincible until you stop all of her generators. Yeah. The outer armor is impervious to your attacks. So basically, he's going to say, we need to destroy these generators because she's invincible. Um, so we have to run around and concentrate on those. about to run out yes you're probably not wrong now all the time that you're trying to concentrate on taking these out there are unlimited enemies spawning you in because fuck you now you can just shoot these but trust me it's way easier and way faster me. to tag them with melee combat we found a proper use for melee in this game. Uh, nope, not quite all I've got. Definitely not leaving these alone, princess. Right, there's not a huge amount of point in blasting everything we see. Because, like I say, they're just going to continuously keep coming. Yeah. Cool story, princess. Right, now, that's this lock done. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that I can. Now, she's just going to, like, amble around. She is basically invincible. But we need to get to one of these, and we get a checkpoint. Oh, sweet, merciful checkpoint. Okay. Now, we've got another two sets to take out. But as you can see, 
there is literally no point. Literally no point in fighting her men. Because we'll die. Every now and again you just want to fight some of them just to get your health back. But there's actually no point in taking them out. Kind of a strange, kind of a strange boss though. Yeah, keep ridiculing me as your empire comes crumbling down. It's not the smartest thing to do. Yeah. No, 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 no. No kill the rays. Oh dear. Yep, this is going to go badly. That happens sometimes, but luckily we the it's more generous uh, four checkpoints here than you would assume it to be. To be honest. But there is no shortage of enemies. Because they just constantly spawn. In front of our very faces. Alright, where can we go from here? We can go this way, apparently. Aha! Perfect. Well, I say perfect. It's a bit of a stretch. Uh, yeah, so you say. But I'm making it my business. So I can finish this game. And give you one last... Fuck you. To your face. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can kind of see. <laughs> um... You know, the issue of just dying in milliseconds because there's just so many enemies. Now, I haven't looked up like a walkthrough or anything for this, but I can imagine it just says, destroy the stuff. Literally, don't waste your time fighting anything because there's no point. And just try and keep yourself alive. Uh, now... Shooting these glowing bits from range with weapons is actually really, really difficult. <coughs> because, because if we do that, uh, we can't just shoot this generator as a whole. We need to uh, actually... Uh oh, we're getting hit. We need to actually get shots in. Yeah, ah, oh, fuck. Okay, come on, come on, come on. It's hard, but it's not impossible. You just have to get lucky. You have to get lucky with where the enemies spawn, essentially. Now, pretty much all the enemies that are spawning as well are the really high-end guys. At least outside, anyway, not here. These little pipsqueaks aren't much to write home about. Oh. There we go. Right, at least we've got maximum health now. For uh, however long that will last. I guess we could try just blasting it with a shotgun and see if that's actually quicker than using melee. I uh, don't think it's going to be. The only advantage is... Um... Oh, jeez. Come on. Health, 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 health. Kill them. Stop getting stuck. Oh, God. Getting hit by stuff that you can't even see. Yeah. So, are we having fun, kids? Kind of interesting that when I did this off camera, it took me a few attempts, but it didn't take me that long. This is just grueling, though. But what an anticlimactic and shit final boss. It's not really a final boss, is it? Not really. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Now, it wouldn't have been so bad if it was just like the first two generators in the beginning. And then maybe we have to take her out, but no. 
these things just take a heck of a lot of damage. See, prime example there. Prime example of what I was talking about. You ju we just got lucky there. The only reason that we got our checkpoint, the only reason we managed to do that is luck. Didn't change our tactics because there aren't really any tactics you can use. Didn't change anything up. Didn't change really our weapons. We just kept trying. Now. Did you really think I'd have all my defenses out in the main courtyard? You get away from there. <laughs> you get away from there. I don't think so. One left. Stop him. Stop one him left. Now. Yeah, well, I think we've won. There we go. That's it. That is it. No end boss. Just destroyed the glowing things. <laughs> Would you like money? Stocks, bonds, jewelry. No jewelry's no good. I know. A beautification operation. Okay. A little Botox to be a right handsome devil. Okay, stop. Well, that's damned inconvenient. <laughs> it's a little bit more than inconvenient, I'd wager. Yeah, that sounds pretty violent. And that's the end of her. Very anticlimactic. little secrets. One of the ugly sons. <laughs> Nihilus was one too, the poor sap. So, uh, look, Raid, it all worked out in the end, right? I mean, you got your revenge and I get what I've been after all along. I'm gonna be king. <laughs> we both get the happy ending. <laughs> I know you're pissed, but look, there's been enough bloodshed. Just go back to your forest and that'll be that. You'll never see a culet there again, I promise. So what do you say, pal, for old time's sake? <laughs> that went better than I thought. Mm. All right, everyone. I've negotiated a ceasefire. The creatures will leave Qtopia. King Sliv has saved you all. Yeah, the few that are left. began the reign of Sliv the Hugly. Ray's returned to the hinterland a hero, and with the shaman and Zorlak looking over his people, there was a state of relative peace. But with Sliv in charge, that was bound to be short-lived. Why? 
Well, actually, you don't tell me. So the princess was evil. I should not see that coming. I don't think she was always evil. It's still a kick in the balls. You gotta admit. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But I think she just went totally mental at the end. You think it was a chick thing? No, no. She cooked up the war for a reason. She wanted to get her hands on the ancient artifacts. The artifacts? Dr. Mingle had her convinced the artifacts would restore her beauty. Whoa, whoa. I'm still back at artifacts. Okay. The things that gave Raze his power. The things that the Resistance Shaman keeps watch over. The same source of ancient power that sustains the Zorlak and whatever the hell that big flying thing was. Uh-huh. Well, Dr. Mingle, or Mingle, or whatever, was gonna use them to stop the princess from turning into a Hugly. And they didn't work? No way. So this whole thing, the war, the death, the misery, the bloodshed, it was all about the princess's looks? Yeah, pretty messed up, huh? No shit. I like the fact that her son there, uh, Sliv, he gets this raised guy to do all his dirty work. Yeah, he was pretty gullible. But I mean, jeez, he fell for not one, but two of Nihilus's traps. What a dummy, eh? <laughs> I wouldn't say that too loud. He's scary. Yeah, anyways, so now we got this Sliv guy as king. So now, is Ugly gonna be in? No way. I sure hope not. I'm still proud of being cute. Me too. Hey, why do you think they had Crag up in that crane? I mean, what a weird place to keep a prisoner. Yeah, and what the heck was in all those boxes anyway? Oh my god, mating bears! Mating bears, lel. What the heck is this? I don't know. What are we supposed to be watching here? Is this what was supposed to take us on originally? What are those flying things? Hey, and there's no silly orb on his back. <laughs> it's pretty cool to see some concept what footage here. Jumps? Whatever. Everyone knows platformers don't sell. Oh, that aged poorly. Yeah, platformers are kind of back in a big way. Check the date. Why the heck did it take so long to develop? It's like they made two entirely different games before this one. Uh, Looks like they had some trouble hitting their target demographic. Or maybe half the development team just took off. You don't say. Interesting. Yeah, they could have, they should have, rather, kept making this. Kept it cooking in the oven for quite a bit longer. Or I'm going to get raised after you. Oh, raise, 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 raise. Would have been interesting to see what this would have been. I'm guessing it's going to be a, well, was going to be a very, very different game. Now this is more like this guy. I like this. Kind of like this quite a lot, actually. Having like a big inhaling antenna beak thing, like an anteater, makes a lot more sense, if you ask me. So this is three years later. Yeah, this looks and way no more for all. This prototypical rays. Wow, wow, look at that piece of hardware. Why didn't we have any of those? The big walkers and the cool little troop transports? Neat. I guess the Hewlett military can't have it all. Why I like the look of those walkers. They were cool. Like stopping convoys and things? Kind of like some sound guy. Really? I didn't think that at all. Oh, really? Now that I think about it, you kind of sound like the sound guy. <laughs> Takes one to know one. Are you implying that I sound like the sound guy? 
Well, I feel like I truly learned something being here today. Yeah, me too. I, I think that was good. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And then, there we go. There's the end. Properly. The end. That was raised as hell for the original Xbox. Oh, that was interesting, wasn't it? Um, does this game still hold up? Honestly, no. But I don't think it ever did. Um, this game seemed to have gone through quite a long development from that video we just saw there. And... Looks like they weren't really sure what they were trying to make, and they just birthed out this. And, I mean, it was unique. I think it definitely needed some more work when it came to the combat, because the combat grew old on Mission 3. And then to stretch that out through another 17 levels was a bit of a stretch. Um, the story was the best part of this game but there really wasn't a huge amount of it yeah we don't need to thank you yeah there wasn't really a huge amount of story in this game uh, and the weapons as well the weapons were really really poor they were interesting for the first you know few minutes um, like you had some pretty basic ones but you had a lot of goofy weapons that just didn't have a place they just don't work and there's also stealth mechanics in this game that are absolutely pointless uh, the melee combat you would have thought as you're playing a big mutant bastard with a claw for an a for a hand almost looks like predator you would have thought there's some pretty cool close in combat but uh no no there wasn't the difficulty was very, very um, spiky, should we say, the, the, you know, it was very punishing. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't like it ever got impossible, but it was just grueling. And that came down to um, getting stuck on the environment. Movement of Ray's, he doesn't move very well. It's not the worst I've seen, but it's not brilliant. Uh, he is quite sluggy. And he does kind of um, skip around and get stuck on the environment an awful lot. Uh, the health is very inconsistent as well. Sometimes you can get hit, like, you know, from a glancing shot and killed really fast. Other times it appears that you can take a lot of damage. It's difficult to say. Uh, the weapon accuracy is pretty bad apart from, from a few weapons. Uh, so you're going to be relying on those weapons a lot because you're going to want to stay as far away from the enemies as possible. Now, talking about that, the weapon, uh, the enemies are just bullet sponges. Absolute bullet sponges. It, they're grueling to fight. And that wouldn't be so bad if there wasn't just so many of them. Constantly. Uh, and they weren't very interesting enemies. The designs were weird and wonderful. But there were only so many variations of them. And one second, guys. My cat is being naughty. Okay. So, I mean, that's pretty much going to sum, sum it up. I mean, visually, the game was quite nice. But it did have an awful lot of slowdown. Especially when the action got pretty intense which again led to more than a few deaths on my part I'm not gonna say you know it was all down to frame rate because it absolutely wasn't but <sighs> the enemies um, really did chug the frame rate up when there's more than a few of them on the screen uh, I, think, I think that's pretty much it I mean visually it was very bland to start with but I think that was by design there's a lot of browns a lot of caves but I think there was just too many caves there was too much, like, too many of the levels were basically exactly the same. The only bit of variation that we actually got was towards the end of the game, where it went completely in the opposite direction, which was a nice change, but the level designs were just, it was all just so similar, you know? You know, once you've seen one square tree, you've, you've kind of seen them all. And the end boss fight, well, it wasn't really a boss fight, was it? Let's be fair. It was just... And I 
don't need to decap my computer rack. Uh, the end boss fight wasn't really a boss fight. It was just destroy these glowing lights. Uh, and then the game just ends. You know, all that pent up um, rage. You know, ready to really unleash hell on the final boss and really get stuck in. And we didn't get any of that. Anyway, we've been rambling for about 50 minutes now, so I'm going to sign off. Uh, wouldn't recommend this game unless you're really curious. Uh, it has not aged well. And it just, I don't think it was a very good game to begin with. It started off fairly strong and fairly interesting, but it just wore out its welcome a little bit too quickly. And then it overstayed big time. But hey, that's another game done. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.